With just three films under his belt, Jordan Peele has carved out quite a reputation for himself in the horror genre. His breakout film Get Out was universally praised and ended up being one of the most profitable films of 2017. I liked Get Out, but I felt like I'd seen that film before, several times over. Us was anything but derivative, an ambitious mind bender that I thought was far more interesting than Get Out. But it seemed like Peel's ambition left him with no out when it came to wrapping things up, resulting in a disappointing finale. Nope, Peel's third film is his best in my opinion, a family drama wrapped up inside of a UFO picture. It's all a metaphor for something else, a world within a world that you can either take at face value or get all fancy pants with and dissect the meta. Either way, it's a fun time. Nope stars Daniel Kaluuya as OJ and Kiki Palmer as his sister Emerald. They're two halves of their father, played by Keith David. One of them is outgoing with a big personality, the other is reserved, the realist, the worrywart. Both deliver very strong performances here. However, following the mysterious death of their father, they're equally lost in his absence. Then they discover the UFO, and their focus becomes capturing it on video, and then cashing in big. But they're not the only opportunists in the area looking to cash in on this otherworldly phenomena. Now, this isn't your typical UFO, alien invasion, or alien abduction movie. Peel adds his own spin to things. There's abductions, sure, but nobody gets probed. At least I don't think so. It's actually much worse. Come to think of it, a probing would be a walk in the park compared to what abductees are subjected to here. Michael Winkett, Stephen Young, and Brandon Perea round out a very strong supporting cast. From a technical standpoint, Nope features exquisite cinematography, a playfully mysterious score, tight pacing, and plenty of tension, while never quite losing its sense of humor. I don't want to go too much more in-depth at the risk of being spoilery, but I will say this. Nope is in my top 10 of the year list, as of right now. I highly recommend it. I also highly recommend this new Blu-ray release from Universal. The picture quality is crisp and highly detailed. The western landscape is vivid and the textures are crystal clear. The audio is also impressive, boasting the film's impeccable sound design. I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a perfect score, 5 out of 5. As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Shadows, the making of Nope. It's 56 minutes and 5 seconds in length. It includes interviews with writer-producer director Jordan Peele, stars Daniel Kaluuya, Stephen Young, Kiki Palmer, and Michael Winkett, producer Ian Cooper, director of photography Hoyt Van Hoytima, co-producer David Torres, and many more. They discuss shooting the Gordy sequence with behind-the-scenes footage of blocking the scene, Peel directing the actors, etc. The actors discuss getting cast in Nope and working with Jordan Peel. They discuss and show behind-the-scenes footage of the Blood Rain sequence, the Jupiter Junction mass abduction, and much, much more. The behind-the-scenes stuff, seeing how everything worked together and so on, was really cool. We get 9 minutes and 25 seconds of deleted scenes, a gag reel which is 5 minutes and 29 seconds in length. We get Call Him Jean Jacket, which is 14 minutes and 22 seconds in length, which includes interviews with Jordan Peele, Ian Cooper, co-producer David Torres, composer Michael Abels, and more. Jordan Peele discusses wanting to make a UFO horror film and figuring out what kind of UFO it is, what it does, and what it looks like, etc. Peele discusses being inspired by Close Encounters of the Third Kind. They discuss designing the various looks of Jean Jacket, the sounds of Jean Jacket, the insides of Jean Jacket, and more. And lastly, we get Mystery Man of My Bridge, which is 5 minutes and 30 seconds in length, in which they discuss the My Bridge footage of the jockey riding the horse, the first assembly of photos uh, put together to create a motion picture, and the fact that we know the name of the horse in that footage, but not the name of the jockey. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Nope from Universal. It features exquisite picture quality and sound quality and a very nice, informative making of documentary. If you're a fan of Nope, then this release definitely needs to be in your collection. If you've not seen Nope, again, I highly recommend it. This Blu-ray release would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you've seen Nope, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what's your favorite. Jordan Peele film is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace.
Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.